I'm at Guler Ice Cave near Mount um, Adams, Washington. As you can see, I'm at the third entrance up, counting south to north. Everybody knows north is up. <laughs> anyway, this is a little trickier entrance, but I'm trying to go in order. So here I am. This time of year, there's not really any ice at the entrances. So it's not that difficult to sort of climb in and out of the entrance. So there we go. So that's the way I climbed right there. As you can see, I could go to the right here or to the left, or I can go back that way. Man, look at all these bugs. I can actually hear them buzzing. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the lower end, the south end, and then uh, see if there's anything I can do this away. If I remember right, this cave actually goes back quite a way and it's muddy. So, but it's been a long time since it's rained, so it shouldn't be too muddy. Man, my flashlight's not lighting this up very well at all. Okay, that's filled with mud. Okay, here we go. So check this out. Notice there's way back here. Oops, ow. Yeah, last time I was here, there was lots of ice, so I couldn't really get through here. Notice, it's like two levels to the cave here because the way the ceiling peeled away. Dead end though, just a bunch of rock. Boring. Okay, so anyway, so look at this. That's the way I came. Notice there's natural light from the entrance. This is the way I did not come yet. Not today, anyway. So, see if I can figure this out. Yeah. Okay, so you see, I'm back at this entrance. I made a loop around behind it. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now let's keep going north. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it's pretty big. It's like eight feet tall, 20 feet wide. Lots of room in here. Lots of bugs, wow. No sign of bats though. It's above freezing. So obviously a moisture, I don't see any sign of ice, which is unfortunate. There's a cool little hole where the lining of the wall broke. Alrighty then. So here we are at the fourth entrance. Now this is where it gets interesting. So up there is the obvious way out. So down there is something else. And then over here is something else. I'm doing this video in segments. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back the other way come back and do this later. 
I'm just doing that kind of arbitrary to be different. Keep things organized. Man, I like all that pretty green color here. It's so bright and vibrant. I'm sure my camera's not doing it justice, but wow. And the noise of all those bugs. Wow. Okay, but look at this. Lots of moss on the ceiling here where it doesn't get so cold. So many bugs, holy cow. Notice the ceiling is redder there. That's where the original lining of the cave broke down. The original lining of the cave is gray. And then beyond that, it's more red. Very interesting. A lot of lava tubes are like that. It's all one big lava flow. It's the same stuff. Crazy, huh? Not a very smooth wall. From a distance, it looks really, really smooth. The closer you look, it's all sorts of little pores. Very interesting. Wow. I do like the color here though. Look at this, even the lining of the cave here. So this isn't broken down. And yet instead of gray, it's got all sorts of weird, it's like fall colors. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna shed its leaves pretty soon. That's obviously a joke, but yeah, definitely strange looking. Especially here where it peeled. Let me see if I can get it close up. Wow, fascinating. And then those light spots, look at this, the light spots, something growing, not exactly sure what, but I'm sure it's natural and cool and pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this video here, if I can get out of here alive. That'd be cool oh, if I don't plumb it to my doom. All right. So there we are. There's the third to fourth entrance, Guler Ice Cave.